¿Cuándo comenzó tu lucha contra la anorexia? How did your anorexia start? Another day in the life of an independent artist. Today is a very cool day because I am going to speak on Telemundo. I'm going to be on a program called La Mesa Caliente and it's something that I've been trying to like knock on doors to get to for quite a while. So I'm very excited that today's the day. One day I'm going to have a stylist but today I don't have a stylist yet so I'm talking to my sister who is my stylist for now trying to decide what outfit I should go with. The one I'm wearing right now is this one right here. And I'm debating between that one and this one. So I'm waiting for her answer. She's usually my my meter. And I had forgotten to tell her that today I was doing this. This is with Docs. Oh, she went for the previous outfit and Claudio says the second one. I watch a lot of videos on how to match clothes, how to put things together, etc. But it's it never turns out the way I want it to in my mind. So, okay. I'm pretty much ready. Oh, that's what I was looking for, my earrings. Thank you, Lady D. They sent me a few questions that might possibly be on the program. ¿Cómo comenzó tu lucha contra la anorexia? How did your anorexia start? Sentía que mi mente iba demasiado rápido para yo poder controlarla. Y entonces empecé a controlar la única cosa que pensaba que podía controlar, que era la comida. Hubo un momento específico en el que te diste cuenta de la gravedad de, de tu situación. I stopped vlogging because as soon as you walk into Telemundo, there's like a big camera sign that says, there's a big sign that says no camera. And I was like, well, shucks. But anyways, here we are. We are in the green room. I gave us some fruit. Their, their green rooms are actually really, really nice. I made myself some decaf coffee because if I have any coffee after 2 p.m., I'm not sleeping. They came and fixed my hair a little bit. I feel like I need to cut my hair a little bit. Eso de la comparación me lo tengo que recordar. Bueno, si lo dice, súper. Si no lo dice, no. No pasa nada. Sí, me da un poco nervio que no vas a estar conmigo porque me he aprendido a apoyar mucho sobre de ti en las entrevistas. Que cuando te tranca yo te rescato. Sí, exactamente. Nah, nah, nah. Porque me tranco muchas veces, especialmente porque es en español. Bueno, pasé por Anorexia varias veces con que ella está muy interesada en ayudarlo. Done. It went great. I was a little nervous because I always rely on Claudio. Like, since everything is in Spanish and Spanish is my third language, I get stuck a lot more than you would imagine. Because I think in English, then I'm like, wait, well, how do I say this in Spanish? My brain may come up with an Italian word. So anyways, I rely a lot on, on Claudia to just like take over. He already knows when I'm getting stuck because I start stuttering. How did I do? You did great. Okay. Crush it. Thanks. Time to get some groceries. There's only a few things that I buy in bulk and it's mostly like celery for my juice, pineapple, because they sell really big pineapples at Sam's Club. Laundry sanitizer, ginger, and cucumber. And coconut water, which is on sale today, which is why I got it here. But other than that, there's really no other reason for us to come to Sam's. It's just me and Claudio in a one bedroom apartment for now. As soon as we got home, I gave a singing lesson. Then I worked on some photos for a client who just opened a new office. And so they wanted us to take photos of it because when we're not doing music, we have a video production company, a photography company, run social media company. That's what we do to support our music. So, and of course I give singing lessons too. Yeah, that was it for today. See you in the next one.